the 2002 higher then. Not an awful lot in the way of circles and logs here. Straight away though, question one, number one, tangent to a circle at a point. Fairly straightforward. First thing as always, what's the centre of that circle? In that form, it's just going to be the opposite of that and the opposite of that. Circle, centre this, radius root 13, tangent to the point P. So that's just a case of what's the gradient of the radius. That'll be the difference in the y coordinates over the difference in the x coordinates. So that will be 3 take away 1 over 2 take away negative 1. Take away negative, just make that plus a 1. So you've got 2 thirds, which means the gradient of the tangent is going to be the negative of the reciprocal. One slopes down, the other must slope up. A, negative 3 upon 2. Then it's just a case of, so what's the equation of this tangent then? Well, y minus b is mx minus a. Using this point, y minus the y coordinate is the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. So you've got multiply now, 2y minus 6 is negative 3x plus 6. Any form you like, why not just 2y equals negative 3x plus 12 for the answer. Question 11 in the first paper, logs, experimental data 1. It says something is suspected to follow this pattern, an exponential equation. And we have no point plotting that because it would just be a curve, either increasing or decreasing. So instead of that, you plot the logs and hope it will form a straight line. And from that straight line, you can figure out that m power. Well, it does form a straight line. So one thing you can see straight away is this. For that, that's the form of a straight line. So its form should look like y equals mx plus c. I'll put that in inverted commas though, because I'm not implying that that y is that y. Where, for the y, for the vertical axis, you've got log base 5 of y is some gradient times, instead of the x, the horizontal axis is log base 5 of x plus some number c. Well, you can read those two directly from this then, because the gradient will just be the gradient of this, so you could work that out separately. That'll be the difference in the vertical component, that's the difference in those log 5y's, over the difference in the numbers going across the way. We're just going to set this up with that. So that you've got difference in the y's, nothing, take away 1. Difference in the x's, 0 0.5, take away 0. So that's negative 1 over 0 0.5, which is negative 2. Which means I've got log base 5 of y is negative 2 times log base 5 of x plus, and that's 1. Then it's just a case of get rid of these logs, and I'll be back to this. But... The thing that's spoiling it is this one at the end. I'd rather have that one in terms of log 5. So I want to have log 5 of something, let's we'll call it A, equal to that one. Well, inverse of log 5, 5 to the power. 5 to the power 1. So that means that that number would be 5. So I can write it that way then. Log base 5 of, five of y is negative 2 I'll pop that back inside now to the power negative 2 plus, instead of 1, expressing it as a log, that'll be log 5 of 5. Now those two parts can be added. Adding logs, multiply the numbers they're operating on. So I've got log base 5 of 5x to the negative 2. Finally, remove the logs. And you're left with y equals 5x to the negative 2. It says, find the values of k and n. So I'll have to put this down. So that's in the form of y equals kx to the n. And this is the part that answers the question. Where k equals 5 and n equals negative 2. And that would be it. And just the one more log one here, question 7. Find the coordinates of the point where the graph of the curve with this equation cuts the x-axis, intersects the x-axis. Well, this would be here, typical log graph. It would be cutting at 1. But this is going to be 
shift it forward to well that'd be alright because then shift it is now going to cut it three but then lift it up one so it's now no longer obvious what that is that three moved up there it looks like something a bit before three but you're not going to work it out graphically you're going to do it algebraically by saying this where does it cut the x-axis well if it cuts the x-axis it means that y is zero so that means that log 3 of x minus 2 plus 1, this thing here, should equal 0. And then just find x. So it's just dig down, get rid of everything, get rid of the 1, get rid of the log 3, get rid of the 2, there you are. So get rid of the 1. Log 3 of x minus 2 will be negative 1. Get rid of the log 3. Every time you get rid of something, you perform the inverse on the other side. So it'll be 3 to the power, negative 1. Just take a note of that. That means 1 over 3. And then finally get rid of the 2, so it'll be 2 plus a third. In other words, it's going to cut at x equals 2 and a third. And that was it.